All right, we'll see you then, Brian. Thank you. In Indianapolis, Council Committee takes the next step to bring Major League Soccer to the Circle City. In a 6-4 to four vote tonight, the council advanced a professional sports development area for a new site on Pearl Street near Gainbridge Fieldhouse. It could one day become the fourth major sporting venue downtown. Now, this is the spot that could eventually become a major league soccer stadium. The public had a chance to weigh in on this proposal at the Rules and Public Policy Committee meeting this evening. The plan for this site has been pretty controversial because a different soccer stadium is already in the works across downtown. That site is being built by the owner of the Indy 11 soccer team, the minor league soccer team there. So Fox 59's Michael Van Skoik shows us now where those dueling proposals stand. Tonight's meeting was filled with very tense discussion around Mayor Joe Hogsett's latest effort to help bring a Major League Soccer team here to the Circle City. Now this happens at the same time as Indy 11 are working on building their own stadium just a few miles away from the mayor's current proposed site. Mayor Joe Hogshead wants to offer the heliport near Gainbridge Fieldhouse as a potential site for an MLS stadium. The council proposal would provide a special taxing district that could one day be used for that stadium. The city wants to have an MLS team. This was the, the most clear um, obstruction-free means of making that application. But much of the controversy stems from ongoing work already being done at the site of 11 Park. We didn't have a deal inked. We certainly had some sort of deal. We had a groundbreaking where everyone took a smile and took it for the photograph. And uh, now we have something that all things have changed. Um, a lot of people depend on the club uh, and the matches for their mental health and their well-being and they feel like that that it's being ripped away from them. Hogsett previously told us the complexity surrounding human remains at the site and issues of where and how to relocate them played into his decision to push for a different site. If that is something that we have to consider, I'm sure it's something that um, MLS would have to consider as well. The developer of the 11 Park site, Keystone Group, claims the city backed out of a good faith deal surrounding 11 Park. Hogsett denies those allegations. In the latest twist, just last week, the city of Indianapolis offered to purchase the nearly 20-acre diamond chain property from Keystone Group. The mayor's proposal now moves to City County Council for a vote next week. Even if the City County Council approves the tax district, it will ultimately need approval from the state in order to move forward. In downtown Indianapolis, I'm Michael Van Skoik. Michael, thank you. Mayor Hogsett released a statement tonight thanking residents for sharing their opinions and about the council members who supported the proposal. He said, quote, showing that they believe in the potential to solidify our status as the greatest sports city in the country. The spokesperson for the Keystone Group also responded saying tonight's meeting showed a troubling lack of details from city officials as to the why and how of their decision making. Tonight they're calling for more transparency.